Hi, I'm Sean Martin, President and Founder of Donix Snowboards. This video will give you an idea of our capabilities and what you might be interested in ordering from us. Along with all the standard boards listed on this website, we offer virtually unlimited customization. If you ever have a unique board you need built, we can probably make it happen. This video will showcase those unique boards, so keep coming back as the content will change almost weekly. It's been a little while since I've had an opportunity to shoot any video. Uh, Christmas holidays were very, very busy, but uh, the Christmas season is over and uh, things are starting to slow down just a teeny bit. So I've got a few minutes here in which I can uh, show off some of the most recent boards we've built. So I've got a sampling of, uh, of our last run here behind me. Um, what I have over here is, uh, I may have shown one of these off in uh, previous video. Um, this is a uh, 142 Sabre for a young junior border cross racer. Um, nice and small. We do make stuff like this. We've actually had a fair number of requests for uh, little border cross boards this year. So this is one of them. The next board I have right here is uh, something we do uh, fairly frequently. Um, this is a board for a local company up in Boulder. They uh, are, I'm not really sure, I think these are all Christmas presents for their employees, but uh, they designed their own artwork uh, using some of the video game graphics that they, uh, from the video games that they produce, and had us press a, a few boards for some of their employees. So uh, that's something we do do um, periodically for corporate clients. Um, this is just a 164 Sabre, uh, it's a unique, well, it's one of our new graphics, so I thought I'd sort of show it off, um, let you have a look at what it looks like up close. I think this is called uh, Torn Metal, so that's one of those new graphics that haven't been shown off too much. Next board I have right here is a carbon fiber incline. Over the last uh, couple of months, we've actually built a large number of these carbon fiber construction boards. Um, they're incredibly light. Uh, this is, of course, a new construction for us. It's uh, carbon fiber on top. This is a uh, triaxial carbon fiber weave with a Kevlar laminate underneath it. Uh, there's rubber over the core and then a mirror image of that on the back side. So, this, uh, this board is actually about a pound and a half lighter than um, a fiberglass construction board. And the other thing I wanted to show you on here was a custom die cut base graphic. Uh, the gentleman who ordered this board is, a, uh, is an optometrist, or maybe he's an ophthalmologist, I can't remember. So he wanted eyeballs on the bottom of his board, so we've got a bunch of eyeballs die cut into the base there. Um, so that is a uh, custom graphic option we do offer, is uh, die cutting. The reason I've got this board here is uh, just to show you that we can still do really simple stuff. Um, we used to just do solid color top sheets on all of our boards. Uh, and occasionally we still do get customers asking for this, so if you're someone out there going, gee, I wish I could get my old solid color top sheet. Uh, we still do do it, you just sort of have to ask. Um, and that's one of our older logos this customer requested as well. And then the last two I'm going to show you here are uh, just a couple of uh, our newer graphics. This here is the, um, uh, it's the diamond plate wood graphic get you a close-up view of that. Looks kind of cool, looks uh, kind of unique as far as there's a, a few companies doing diamond plate sort of uh, graphics, but I don't think anybody's doing it with a wood veneer in the background. It looks kind of neat. And then one other graphic that we've had a lot of uh, requests on because you really can't see much of it on the web is this uh, perforated metal graphic. So I'll let you have a nice close look at it of that. Um, looks really cool, real subtle, um, comes out very, very nice. So,
thought I'd real quick just pull out uh, some of the pilots for this year. Um, unfortunately, the website has not really been updated that much on uh, some of the boards. Our pilot series was completely overhauled as far as design or shaping this season, um, as well as graphics. So the REC pilot has a graphic that looks like this. Um, it's got a nice little plain contrail on there, uh, very nice and subtle. Um, the other thing that you might be interested to know about these is we've incorporated uh, VSR or variable side cut radius technology uh, in the pilot this season as well as uh, giving it a decambered tip and tail. So it uh, rides more like a, uh, the big boys boards. And then what I have here is a 172 pilot, one of the race versions. And the colors do vary a little bit on these, uh, on these race boards. Uh, but this is the basic graphic that goes on the race version of the Pilot. Uh, I think it looks really nice, kind of cool. Um, and like I said, same technology, VSR, decamber, tip and tail, everything uh, that you want to want to get out of a, a high-end race board. So hopefully I'll be back again uh, real soon for you, and thank you very much for watching. This week we've got a lot of race boards that we've built. The uh, Race of the Cup is coming up, and there's a lot of race camps coming to Colorado, so um, we're trying to get some of those boards out to those guys who really need them. Uh, got a sampling of some of the boards in our last run behind me here. Uh, some very cool, unique new stuff, and uh, just thought I'd show off some of our new graphics. Got a new one for this season. This is our Carbon Flame graphic. Uh, Comes out really, really nice. Let you, some of you guys who want to see these up close have a look at this. Um, got our green lightning right here, which is a new one for this season. Um, so you can have a look at that up close. I'll skip over these next two boards behind me and talk about them in a minute. Uh, got our red lightning graphic here. And uh, I think this is called, I think this one here is called Gray Speed, or it might be Gray Swift. can't remember which exactly what we call it, but it looks really nice and racy. And this may be a new color version on something we've done for uh, uh, the last season. This is a, uh, a liquid flame, but it's in red. This board right over here was uh, built for a young man on the G team, a racer, and he had a, uh, a board that he'd uh, done some we call it airbrush artwork on, really liked it, wanted to transfer it to his new board, so his mother leaned it up against the garage door and took a few pictures of it for me. I did a little digital manipulation and uh, this is what we came up with as the final result. Um, so if you uh, have something you want to put on a board that's hand drawn or uh, you know a photograph of something you've done, you can send it over to us and we'll, we'll see what we can do with it. Now the two boards behind me right here are some brand new constructions for this season. This is uh, actually a board built for one of our testers, Michael Pukas. Um, we built some uh, carbon fiber construction prototypes in the spring and he told me at the end of testing he really wanted a metal board but he wanted it to look like the carbon fiber board. So what we've done is we found a substitute for the unidirectional carbon that we put in our uh, uh, regular metal boards and come up with something that's more uh, appealing visually. Uh, this is a, a plus minus 45 biax carbon. Let me get a little closer so you can really see it up close. Looks really really nice and slick. Um, now this upgrade actually uh, runs an extra $200. So if you want a metal board with a cosmetic carbon fiber top sheet on it, uh, this board here runs $1,200 instead of uh, the regular 1000 for a metal. 
Now, the other unique thing about this, since uh, we really want to leverage the testing that Michael's been doing for us for the last couple of years, is this has a brand new epoxy resin in it. The epoxy in this board is, well, the chemistry is 50% derived from tree sap as opposed to uh, crude oil. So this is a more of a green uh, construction and Michael will be testing this all season and with any luck we'll be switching to a resin like this for next season and uh, be able to provide you with something that's made with something that's not all crude oil based. The next board I have behind me here is a new construction. I told you in the spring we were working on a carbon fiber construction. This is uh, one of the challenges we have in making a, a metal free ride is first off the width of the material frequently isn't wide enough uh, for some of the really wide boards some people want. It's also uh, um, in a border cross situation you have riders hitting each other all the time and uh, more prone to damage. So we wanted to try and come up with a fiber substitute for that. So what we have here is a uh, triaxial braided carbon fiber. Uh, exhibits very similar properties to a, a metal laminate because it's uh, isotropic in nature as far as it having the exact same properties in every single direction. It's a beautiful material, uh, very cosmetically pleasing, um, and it actually does ride a great deal like a metal construction board. So what we have is a triax carbon fiber over a layer of Kevlar underneath that, and then layers of rubber and our wood core, just like a metal board. So this here is a board across board. It's a Sabre. It's a 170. It's got a 29 centimeter waist. It's almost 14 inches at the tip of the tail, uh, about 35 centimeters. So uh, very, very wide, much wider than you can make a metal board, basically. Um, and it's going to ride very similar to a metal board. It's uh, nice and damp, does everything it's supposed to do. So um, we're very pleased with this, this particular construction. Uh, whether it be in a uh, alpine board or in a free ride board, runs a thousand dollars, just like our metal construction, and uh, comes out very, very nice. Looks uh, really sweet. So I think, so I think that pretty much covers it for some of the new stuff we've done in the uh, last couple of weeks. Uh, hopefully, I'll be back at you real soon. We are in the middle of producing our pilots for this season as well as filling some dealer orders. So it may be a couple weeks before you see me again on, uh, on some uh, unique new customs. Thanks a lot for watching. Hi, I'm Sean Martin, president and founder of Donix Snowboards. One of the things we do quite a bit of here is build unique boards for unique people. Uh, this winter we're going to be providing a weekly update showing some of those uh, unusual projects that we work on and uh, hopefully giving you an idea of what we can do. This particular board here was built for a gentleman in Australia with a size 17 foot and he's very tall. Um, so we built him a 180 with a 29 and a half centimeter waist, uh, over 35 centimeters at the tip of the tail based on our incline or free ride series. It's the kind of board you'd never find in any retail shop, and it's the kind of thing we do just about every week. So um, if you ever need something that's unusual, we're here to do it. Um, this gentleman shows our, uh, one of our graphics uh, that are available for this uh, upcoming season. And he did something a little different on the bottom of the board. It's uh, got his name with the Australian flag as the background on a white field. So, hopefully what you're gonna get from these videos is an idea of what we uh, are capable of and what you might be interested in ordering from us uh, in the future.